right, lots of people have opinions on this topic. They don't necessarily make new cones for the speaker, but the speaker isn't blown. It's just the cone is bad. So everybody says to use Elmer's glue and like a paper towel or something. I'm going to use coffee filters and you basically lay them on here and like saturate it with glue but try to keep it you know as minimal as possible and you're basically just trying to bridge the gap between the good and bridge the gap between the old so I think I'm going to do it on both sides and then we'll see how that does. All right, so the patches are on. And I actually did one more layer on the top just because it was so thin. But looks good, everything's dry, so I will probably throw some paint on it because they say to do that, and we'll see what we got when we're done. There goes nothing. Another light coat and we'll see what it looks like.
Well, there you go. From this angle, they don't look too bad, do they? <laughs> so there's the one that had the least amount of problems. There's my patch. It's about a foot and a half away that I held that. That's real close. That one looks pretty good. This one doesn't look nearly as good. But, you know, I probably have a dollar in to fixing it. And it seems really pretty not bad. And a lot of people do this. I didn't want to do it because it seems like a cheap, I don't know, Jimmy rigged way to do it, I guess. Um, but it is cheap, but a lot of people do it with really expensive speakers. So we'll give it a shot. If not, I can hopefully eventually find the right cones. I'll probably have 50 bucks in those, or I can take it to a place and have it done legit. And it's like 130 bucks, but I think this is going to fly just fine. All right, I took those speakers from an awesome set of like tower speakers that I had, but these are only eight ohms and they don't sound nearly as good as these did, even with the cones being all destroyed. So I think that it's time to go out with the new and with the old. Boom. And they're in. New, old. See, you wouldn't even know. Plus, I'm gonna put that cover over it, right? We'll have to try them out next. Sounds really good. I actually turned it up pretty loud. Uh, as loud as it would go, actually. And I heard it vibrating, and I'm like, crap, it didn't work. It sounds terrible. Well, I made a coin door plate for it back there, and it was that buzzing real bad. So I put my hand on it, and then let it keep playing, and it sounds terrific. So it's hard to tell in these videos with these phones, but it's actually got a lot of bass. Um, and the amp has a lot of bad capacitors in it, so it's only going to get better from here. But I am super tickled with that result. Real cheap, and it sounds great. Love it.